Bentley, you know. <laughs> the entire conception of motoring. Right. It's a different experience. If you want to see the heads turn around when I drive down the main street, they're marvellous. <laughs> Rolls better for me in future and nothing less. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll have some marmalade on this toast. Oh, yes, Chuck. Oh, I'm not kidding. You're as soft as him, you. You want your heads banging together the pair of you. What's up with you? The marmalade is approximately eight inches from his nose. All he's got to do is stick out his hand. That's not his job. It's him that wants it. She'll never learn, will she? <laughs> They are, Chuck. Now, is there anything else you'd like? Uh, I'll have a drop more tea in there, wash it down. Uh. Right. Why don't you make him pour it yourself? Being a wife, our friend, Irma, our Irma, is a work of art. I've just thought what about my sandwiches. All right, Chuck. Didn't last night during Mark Saber. Oh. Crab paste and cheese. <laughs> you slipped up there, haven't you? Fellow in my position, I ought to have caviar butties. <laughs> <laughs> With that car and my uniform. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let me get to work. I can't stand it. To be honest, they never make him captain of the Queen Elizabeth. Well, it's his first day. Oh, it never is. In uniform, it is. Right, tie. Oh, on the chair over your jacket. It's all right. Okay. I should just think so and all. Ah, well, your mother's fingers have got blacking on, you see. Oh, pardon me, my mistake. I noticed she didn't mind it on your toast. Hey, that's another thing too, isn't it? What, love? I'm going to need a new shirt, a white shirt every day, aren't I? How many have I got? You're looking at it. Huh? It's all right, Chuck. I'll buy you a couple of market and then I'll wash Wednesday. <laughs> oh, you mucky poor. Well. First day or not, you've spilled tea all down you. It doesn't come out, you know. Oh, get away. That's all right. Look, it's only tomato sauce. That's all right. <laughs> it's better than dry cleaning. Right. Get your jacket on and your cap and let's have a look at you. Uh, no, not in front of me, if you don't mind. Why? You know what I'm like when I get the giggles? I'm good for now all day. Oh, well, that just shows your ignorance, doesn't it? You can carry off your uniform, can you, Dad? Got the figure for it. Ah, you've got to have a bill, know how to carry it. I mean, especially with that car. I mean, it says a Rolls Bentley, you know? Right, that does it. I'll finish off in kitchen. <laughs> you've got no soul, that's your trouble. It's only a blooming motor car. Right, just for that, you won't get a ride in it. Ha, <laughs> little heathen. Oh, Dad, you fly thing. Go on, let's have a... Oh. Well, worth putting a bit of marmalade on his toast for, isn't it? Oh, you're a lovely lobster, Magdalene. <laughs> Is it something I've said? No. Well, why aren't you talking to me? The eardrum is a very delicate mechanism, Jack. If my voice is going to permanently injure everybody's eardrums, well then, I shall remain silent. She's gone balmy, she has stone jugs. Thank you for your sympathy, Jack. There's nothing wrong with your voice. Mm, there was last night, wasn't there? Hey. Look, Jack, last night I rendered Ivan Novello's Wheel Gather Lilacs with melody, feeling and undoubted charm. And what happened? I didn't even come third. By the left. You don't half go round the cat's backside, don't you? <laughs> well, you do. I wouldn't take a vow of flipping silence just because I didn't win a daft singing contest. You do talk some rubbish when you get going. Yes, well, I shan't be talking much in future, so don't worry. Now, Annie, behave yourself. I think you sing very nicely. Well, I reckon you should have come first at least. Yes, well, you're biased, aren't you? Eh? After all, love, love is blind. Eh? Oh, but what does a flipping working men's club know about the price of cheese any road? I mean, they're no criterion. You're not as silly as you look, are you? Well, what have I said now? It was the wrong audience. Eh? Well, Jack, how often does Maria Kellas do a week at the Viaduct Sporting Club? <laughs> They wouldn't know a good voice if they heard one. No, it was the wrong audience. Hello. Hello, will I finish your breakfast? Yeah, I've washed up and all. Good. Where are you off to? Town. I've ten quid to get shut off. Pardon, love. Ten quid, my prize money. Oh. Right. I've had that much money in my life. You stick tight, love. It has a funny habit of getting spent. Yeah, well, I'm just going to nose around the windows, unless I see something I really fancy. Got something, Mrs. Walker. I reckon you were rock last night. Pardon, love. I reckon you should have come in third. I thought you showed great promise. Oh, thank you, Lucille. That's all right. Stay with it. Try. You see, love, 
He was the wrong audience. I mean, picking Lucille first proves it. <laughs> After all, you could hardly call her diction outstanding, could you? And when it comes to acts... <laughs> Of course, if some of those people at the club could hear their own voices on a tape recorder, they'd never speak again. <laughs> no. And the amazing part is, you know, Jack, I never had an elocution lesson in my life. No, look. I suppose it's just a natural gift. Yes, love. No, love, I said beans, them's peas. Morning, morning. You don't mind me pushing in front of you, do you, love? I'm late. I'm, I'm catching that 62 bus in about three seconds. Um, you don't mind, do you? No, no. If, you, if you want to stand on the step and watch me win the race, you can do. You'll go on if you're late for work. I've got all day. Oh, uh, Florrie, would you uh, change me ten bob, please? You know what they're like on the buses. Well, what did you want? Well, 18 pence in copper will do. Well, I'm sure to change first thing in the morning. Look, anything will do, love. You know what they like and they won't even stop for it. Look, it's me as is doing you the favour. Uh, I don't make any profit out of changing ten bob notes, you know. What's up with you, Florrie? Well, don't rush people. And if you don't like it, you can go elsewhere. Look, love, if I was you, I'd get up, go back to bed and get up again. Sometimes does your world a good. Oh, no. Morning. Oh, beans, what it, Mrs. Caldwell, Irma? We start at nine o'clock in case you're interested, and that's below. Oh, it's about two seconds past. Oh, don't you look smart? <laughs> Smashing in it, eh? I had to go get fitted for this, you know. You, you do with these things. Oh, no, you better come and serve your dad now you've condescended to get here. Beans, now, is there anything else? Oh, any soap powder that's got something off. And, oh, oh, a jar of mustard pickles. They're for Charlie. It's very fond of mustard pickle sandwiches. Mm. Uh, How's the motor car going? Oh, don't you start, please. And what did you want? Oh, a box of matches. Uh, can I have it half price here, a member of the family? No, <laughs> it's a smashing car, fully automatic. And um, there, you better get a new carton from the stock room. Discs all round. Round what? And the wheels. Oh, very nice. Hey, I'll tell you what. You'll be in the rovers at half past twelve. I'm taking our kid for a ride. You can come too, if you like. Oh, can I? <laughs> yeah, wear your tiara. You might meet somebody you know. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to serve a customer. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, come on, you. Something fake now. Look, you lay out for it, Alkin. I've uh, left my checkbook in the car. What a pity. Oh, I'll call back again. It's all right, Mr. Shaffles. I'm not queuing. I gave that game up when rationing stuff. Come in, love. I'm just going. Oh, well, that's different. Morning, love. Oh, morning, Nina. Oh, it's going to be a lovely day. We are going to have hailstones before dinner. My corn's giving me jip. And how was Mary Pickford this morning? Have you heard out? What do you mean? I got a letter. Who from? Just look at her. Butter wouldn't melt in her mouth. From your wandering minstrel, Danny boy. From your gentleman friend in Ireland. You're laughing at me, aren't you? You're laughing at me behind my back. What are you talking about? Elsie Tanner, you, the old street. I'm not blind. Well, go on, get on with it. Have a good laugh. Someday I'll find you, moonlight behind you. Yes, you've got a great little artist there, Mr. Walker. All right, lad, you can give it a rest. No, she's got the movements of a treat. What movements? You know, nothing you can say can turn me away from my guy. Oh, young Six Lucille, you mean, eh? Well, who the heck do you think I mean? Uh, look, Dennis. Discuss some other topic, will you? Uh, if you don't mind. Politics, religion, anything that's harmless. But keep quiet about singing, will you? Yeah, it shows you. A uh, stylist I may be, but when show business has been your life... Oh, uh, and mine and all, ever since last night. Heartbreaking profession, isn't it? I can't bother Mrs Lindley at all. She was funny before you come in, mixing up me order and all. <laughs> and we're getting a reputation for barmy folk in this street. Oh, it's the pace of modern living. Is it? Well, that's what they say. Aye. Bingo two nights a week and tell you the rest. You know, she needs a fellow that's that lass. Somebody to worry about instead of herself. Yes, ladies, can I help you? Uh, no, thank you. I'm waiting to be picked up. <laughs> it's all right. She's not got delusions of grandeur. Stan Ogden's going to give her a ride in his motor car. Oh, I see. What about you, Mrs. Sharp? Is the motor out? No, thank you. I'm, I'm waiting as well. Oh, Ina. I hope you don't think I'm being awkward. Only, uh, well, 
I, I, I don't think uh, Stan Ogden's expecting you to come. I'm not surprised. He doesn't know himself yet. Oh. Hey, do you know how often I've been in a big shiny car? Twice in 60 years. And I'd just like to do it once without a wet anky in my hand. Right, come on, he's here. If you're ready, all aboard for the Skylark. He's here. Aye, and about time, too. Hey, no singing in the back. It's not a shower, you Are know. you coming now, kid? Come in, where? Well. I've a ride in the Rolls Bentley. Who's going? <laughs> well, there's me, the missus, I'm a kid, Mrs. Colwell. Mrs. Sharples. Yeah. Oh, I'm Mrs. Sharples. Uh, yeah, well, I'd like to oblige, but um, I promised my mother I'd have a bath. <laughs> a any room for a tall thin and an little one? There's room for hundreds. Come on, that's me having you. Oh, oh come, on. come on, tits, oh, lad. Right. Come on. Well, that's all now. Oh, no, I think we could do with ordering a few more tins of tomato soup. Yeah, that's all. They're ordered. Oh, I thought you just might have forgot, like. I don't forget nothing. Listen, Mrs. Lindley, you know if ever you fancy a lie down, I mean, I can manage. We're not busy, are we, Ellen? What did you mean by that? Nothing I just meant for actually. Now, look here, Emma Ogden. Don't you start on me, because I'm not in the mood. You can clear that counter if you want something to occupy your mind. How did the car ride go? Uh, is it none of my business? Eh? Oh, it was all right, mind you. It got a bit out of hand. But, um, here's the main culprit, this one here. All right, now what have I done? Oh, well, first of all, you took your shoes off, didn't you? And then you wonder what caused it was. Well, it was a posh car. And then you know, oh. there was no need for Ian Sharpers to open the jaw like that because my socks were clean on mm -hmm. this morning. Well, they didn't know what Charlie Moffat's dog and did. And it's a good job you didn't, I know. Mind you, that'll come off because it's real leather. Yes, I know, it? but it'll want a bit of patching, won't oh, it? Oh, no, some disinfectant and soapy wash. And me and when Minnie Conwell ripped oh, it. Oh, I want that funny. She was rooted fagans out with the ashtray with her hat and then one shoved it in. Oh, uh, Charlie Moffat was on the shop window. Yeah. He kept opening it and shouting to Paul. Yeah, kept opening it and shouting out. Hey, it's the right room, come on, big girl. And it's time to grow up, isn't it? Well, it was all a bit of fun, fun. You don't have an arrogant. Yeah, do you know, it's me dad got to lay at me, because I mean, he's just a little bit far from himself. Oh, he's not pretty Oh, he's not pretty sure. He's not pretty sure. what are you doing down there? <laughs> I thought you'd shrunk. What time is it? Uh, just after four. Are we having a brew? Four? Huh? What are you doing, Al? I've uh, come to change. What for? <sighs> well, it goes with job, doesn't it? What does? The uniform, the monkey suit. Well? Well, I won't be needing it now, will I? <laughs> won't you? Well, not if it goes with job. Oh, you've not got the sack. Aye. Uh, 
Not Mr. Alworth, managing director, you know, a man of few words he is. Sat me on the spot. Not even a week's notice, no. Right to the point. Dan, what happened? Well, I upset him somewhere along the line. He's easily upset, you know, that fella. When he gets a bit old, he'll be suffering from blood pressure. Mind you, he, he speaks nice. What did you do? Well, just after I left you lot, you know. I was standing at a zebra crossing, and he came toddling across, and... <laughs> well, I know where I've been with motor. Oh, Stan. Oh, I'm that, him and that personnel manager. I don't like him. He's got whiskers going out of his nostrils. They want to have a look at the car. Charlie Moffat's dog. Aye, oh, and the rip. And the dog ends. And our velvet tap locks of the lockment. You have to give the uniform back. No. Oh. Good morning. You know, it, it's it, it's uncanny about me and work, isn't it? We've never got on, have we? Hmm. Pity about the uniform, though. I mean, it could have come in as a Sunday suit, couldn't it? Without the cap, like. Oh. Did you say we were having a brew? Mm. It's a foul shot, son. That's two goes to me. Oh. Oh, well. Help yourself, lad. <laughs> What's the score, anyway? 38-37 to me. Oh. Two more of them talent contests, you know. We might find a bit of talent yet. You could always uh, go back to street sweeping or whatever it is you're qualified in, couldn't you? You what? Well, I couldn't afford two resident stars in a dump like this now, could I? Ah. <laughs> 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 you're pulling my leg out, you know. <laughs> Good lad, Norm, lad. I like a fellow with a sense of humour. <laughs> Hey, give that a lick, will you? I've run out of spit. Oh, thanks very much. Aren't you supposed to be doing a bit of rehearsing now and then? Yeah. Aren't you supposed to be doing a bit of managing? Now and then. It's amazing how this club's going down the neck, isn't it? Amazing. Can I come in? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Miss Hill. Yes, it is. Listen, if you want your money back, you can whisper. It's nearly all gone. No, it's nothing like that. It's just the opposite of anything. Sit down a second, will you? Uh. I was wondering if you'd like me to have a word with Laurie Fraser about you. What about? Well, it wouldn't be until you left school or anything like that. I'm not saying you're a Silla Black or anything, but I was very impressed with what you did here last night. And if you wanted to learn the business, you could always start here. But you've got to start at the bottom, you know. I mean, I, I started in places like this, and look where I am now. Yeah, well, uh, you think about it, kid. You mean singing for a job, like? Yeah. Oh, I'd want my bumps feeling, wouldn't I? Pardon? Oh, no, I grew out of that phase ages ago. Oh, you have, have you? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of rubbish talked about show business. I think you've got something lacking if you want to stand on the stage and sing. Yes, but the money's good, isn't it? I mean, you take last night, for instance, a couple of songs, ten quid. Oh, it's not a proper job, though, is it? Any road you run out of things to buy. I mean, I had enough trouble this morning. Is that all you want it to see me for? Yes, yes. Try then. Cheers. Well, right, gum. Hey, I wish I had a mother like that. <laughs> I'd have probably been a bank manager by now. Or a plumber, even. Of course, she'll miss the excitement and the glamour. Sure, go. All right, clever dick. I want to know what you mean by that. Well, that doesn't mean any flipping thing. Well, what thing, you said, what you're getting at? I'm not getting at anything, darling. I mean, I just asked you how Frank Barlow was going on. If you'd heard from him, I mean, that's all I meant. Have you heard anything from Frank Barlow? Well, why me? Well, because you were pretty thick with him at one time. It was only a civil question. Yeah, and I want to know what you're into. I'm not into any flaming thing. Look. Just give me me fags and I'll go, eh? I'm just about sick and tired of this. I'm not here for people to take the mickey out of you. No, I'm not here for your entertainment. Look, Flurry, I don't know what I'm supposed to have done, but if you're gonna pick a Barney with someone, you pick the wrong one here, right? What's up? Up it. I'm just about out of no. Coming in here with a stupid grin on your face and asking daft questions. Well, look, just... I'll go and get them at the Rovers. It doesn't look, matter to Look, I me. don't get comes from Frank Ballon. I never did even before he started going out with Christine Hartman. Who said you did? What are you doing? Waiting, signalling behind my back. I'll see ya. Uh... 
Well, I'm talking to you. I wasn't doing nothing. Oh, no, it doesn't look like it. Listen, Mrs. Lindley, go and have a lie down. I'll make you a nice cup of tea and some aspirin. Now, look at her, Emma Longton. I pay the wages in this shop, and I'm not having you talking to customers behind my back. Where are you going? Look, it's five to six. Don't think I'm standing here being black eyed for the sake of five minutes, you know. I pay you to serve in this shop from nine till six. If you don't like the hours, you know what you can do about it, don't you? I'm going now, and I hope you feel better in the morning. Walk out of this shop, and you take your cards with you. Oh, what the hell's it with you anyway? Honest to God, you've been yelling and blinding all day long. Just because you've seen your behind, don't, mean, don't mean to say that you can be nasty with mean? everyone, especially me. Oh, you know everything, don't you, young snotty oh. nose? You're young, aren't you? That makes you something special when you know now. Good night. Nobody's young forever, you know. Capstan Press Operator, what do you think of that? What is it? I know it sounds like hard work though, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Shift your elbow, look. Uh, short and tight, please. There's hundreds of those wanted, you know. Warehouseman. Bricklayer. <laughs> Van driver. Um, no, there's not much here. Anyway, someone will turn up, don't worry. I'll tell you what, sis. Well, while I'm on the door, I'll, I'll knock down on the beer. I won't knock it off completely. I mean, there's no sense in making everybody miserable, is there? I wasn't thinking about that. I was just wondering, now I've made the table, what they actually make for tea. You're not mad at me then? What for? Oh, we're getting the sack. Well, it's some wise to be needle, wouldn't it? <laughs> Lad, it's a bit late for that cake. <laughs> I reckon you've had the sack more times than you've had work. <laughs> <laughs> Any road, I like you at all. Uh, do you think there's uh, something wrong with us? No, we're all right. At least our home is working. Oh. I don't want no tea. Just as well, because we've gotten out. What's the matter with your face? Nothing. Hey, guess what? Your dad's retired again. Oh. Ah, well, he might not be the only one, I know. You are? Oh, she's the same tomorrow, and I'll spit in her. Well, don't talk like that now. You've got a good job there. You don't know what she's been like, though. Ah, work's good for the soul. It builds character. What's happened? Nothing. Apart from her going round the bend. Now, don't be cheeky. I tell you, she's going mad. Mm -hmm. 